the magnitude of today's game for Iowa is enormous. A win, they get a share of the Big Ten Conference title for the first time since 1990. A loss, it'll be a season that could have or should have been. Mark, Iowa may be the story of the year in college football. Before the season, no one picked Iowa to finish in the top 25. In fact, most experts picked them to finish in the bottom half of the Big Ten. And they were playing a senior quarterback who never started before, and no one ever heard of him. Now at the end of the season, they're rated fifth in the country and playing today to finish undefeated in the Big Ten. And that quarterback no one ever heard of, now he's a legitimate Heisman candidate. You're, of course, referring to Brad Banks, the quarterback. Three and a half short years ago, he's playing junior college football in Mississippi. Nobody symbolizes the team's resurgence more than him. Here's C.J. Jones with the floor. And Jones is brought down short of 20. First down and 10. Clark in motion. Here's Branks on the roll. Complete to Hinkle at the far side, 35. First down for the Hawkeyes. First down and 10. Clark in motion again. They run the zone play to Fred Russell. And Russell has another Iowa first down. Backs out of the eye. Cervantes and Jermel Lewis now in a tailback. A little motion up front and a flag down on the field. Offside defense. First down and five for the Hawkeyes. Minnesota coming with a little pressure to Blitz. Banks makes the pay to Clark. Dallas Clark all the way down to the 23 yard line. Finally brought down by Eli Ward, the All American candidate, with a nice pickup. Right now, this grip really working out well. Russell back in the tailback. This is little Fred Russell. Finally, Cape and Hole just calling his name. Russell inside of the team. And a nice long yard for a tackle by the play for 13 yards. Hot guys off the door. 13 yard gain on the play. Russell set deep. Eight, nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. And here's the Dominion Fred Russell. Making a house call. Touchdown, Hot guys. Man, the Iowa Hot guys, Bob Davy, came out. Punched Minnesota in the mouth on this opening series. A very good. Caden kicks it all the way down into the end zone. One yard deep. He's going to run it out and drop down. Short of the 10 at the 9-yard line. See if they can answer that impressive opening drive by the Hawkeyes. Receivers out on this formation. Jackson, the long back, and a little motion up front. Fire the snap. Ball start offense. We are in Minneapolis, but it almost sounds like an Iowa home game with all the fans that have made the trip from Iowa City. Will Polite completes the pass into the boundary, complete to Jared Ellerson. Abdul Polite. Incomplete. Peter Pruden, number 57, is once again the long snapper for Minnesota. Last week they benched him. He's back again. He's going to get a little bit of heat as the Hawkeyes came after it a little bit. And it takes an Iowa bounce down to the 43-yard line. A little play fake, pass to pass. And this is where it can hurt you in the open field. Brad Banks. On the move, and brought down to the 37-yard line. Brad Banks still perfect passing the ball. Going back to last week, he's now 12 for 12. And here he is to throw again. And that is his first incompletion. They run the bubble screen. Jones stopped up short of the first down back at the 37-yard line. David Bradley, the punt, averaging 39 yards per on the season. Along the 54, he's got 18 of them inside the 20. See what he does here. Try to hang it up. And it took a little too healthy of a bounce. The mark, but the offense, Bob Davey, could use one of those hammers and mallets against Iowa right now. First and 10, a side up to Khalif. Gonna run it himself. Second down and two. They're going to run it. Thomas to pay over the left side, close to the first down. But against the good teams, 53 yards against Ohio State and 127 yards against Michigan. So can they run against a good defense like Iowa?
Contamination against the run. Here's Abdul Kali. Looking up top, hangs it up. And it's out of bounds, incomplete. Second down and 10. They hand it off to Thomas Capay. Capay chopped down at the 31 yard line. Third down and one, nine to go. Three receivers on the formation. Abdul Kali. Incomplete, it's a heavy traffic. It'll be fourth down and nine. The punt it was intended for Antoine Burns. Mark Parker pressing all the right buttons, greening to punt. Preseason All-American. Great guy watch list and picks it right to Ed Hinkle, who was the special teams player of the week last week. Brad Banks hands it off to Fred Russell. Fred Russell brought down to the 44, second and six. Fred Russell, nice little stutter step, patiently waiting to get the hole, stopped up just shy of the first down near midfield. Third down and one. Jones in motion, they give it to Russell again. He has the first down, and then some. Fred Russell out of Ramos, Michigan, moves the chains. He ain't smiling, something's wrong. That's what Banks says, and he gives him the bill here. Well, this is arguably the best team they've faced this year, though. Brad Banks. What a move. Brad Banks down to the 25 yard line. He broke him off a little something. Maybe a little late for the Heisman, but who knows? Brad Banks certainly worthy, especially when it comes down to leadership. Here's the reverse for Brown. They read it well. Brown brought down at the 29. Here they are again with their backs to the wall. Banks was looking to set up the screen in trouble and wisely throws it away. Minnesota with great pressure so far on the quarterback. Third down, 14 to go. Banks patiently fires incomplete at the 15 yard line. Surprised fans didn't let him try one on the last sequence. Would have been close to 60, but he's got great leg strength. But 47 yards out, Caden pushed it off to the right. Just his second miss of the season. Coming into the game. First down and 10 for the Golden Gopher. Takes it to Tepay, completes it to Tony Patterson. Patterson, an early surprise with Thomas Tepay. So much action to tell that. Terry Jackson can lose in this game after 116 yards a game. And up from his safety spot, Bob Sanders almost made the play behind the line of scrimmage. Roth finally brought him down to number 33 right there in the screen. Bob Sanders, maybe the hardest hitter in all of college football, came in there like a missile, knifing through the offense. Second down and 10. Drew Khalid has a lot of time. Fires it completely the flag down. Antoine Allen a little too close to Tony Patterson. And it's against the defense. An obvious pass interference, Mark. Still the unquestioned leader of the team. They look for the halfback option. And now they're going to run it. There's a flag down in the play. Upchurch. He wanted the halfback pass. Upchurch, an excellent job, though, of not just throwing the football into traffic and just getting what he could get out of it. On a quick count, and Colin Cole wasn't having it. Stayed on and has had a great career, a stellar career at Iowa. Second down and 11. A dual to to pass. Run right out of bounds. Just inside the 30 at the 29-yard line. Third down and eight for Minnesota. Bill has a man. First down, Golden Gophers at the 12 yard line. Ben Utah. Both coaching staffs told us he is a streaky football player. Picked up 17 yards. Look, Poole has gone to move right there, too. So the great fake. With the knee touched on the pass back at the 11. Utah to Cannon. We will see the formation for the Gophers. Complete to Burns. Still on his feet. Fighting! Touchdown, Minnesota! What an effort! Meticulously working their way downfield under the leadership of Hassan Abdul Khalid. With a 17 touchdown pass this season, indicated that uh, there were a few Iowa fans scalping their tickets. Pardon me, Minnesota fans scalping their tickets. First down and 10. 
see if Brad Banks can respond. Fred Russell doing his best. His game speaking volumes. Fred Russell. All the way down to the 12 yard line. Back at you. The momentum swinging back in the highest favor of the real long. 53 yard run for Russell. Here's Lewis. Second down and four. So that says the fullback. A great blocker, the lead block. A little option. Lewis heading for the edge. Touchdown, Iowa. Lewis with his eighth rushing touchdown this season. <laughs> Here's Cadence's kickoff. High and short for him. Back to the field. Jackson in the back. A flag down back at the 27-yard line. Jackson listed as the starter, but it was Danny Upchurch that actually got the first carry of the ball game for the Minnesota Golden Gophers, and this one is going to go against Minnesota. Play and potentially earn a trip to the Rose Bowl. First down and 20. Abdul Khalid complete. Left down at the 21-yard line is Tony Patterson. Right up to Khalif escapes. Almost had it picked off by Bob Sanders at the 38-yard line. He tried to find Tony Patterson. Third down and 16. And he got the shotgun. Pressure off the edge. And he's hit and brought down. Howard Hodges sacked him back at the 15-yard line. They say they should have the ball, too. And Iowa has first down at Minnesota's 15 on the fumble. Some people question his size. But Kirk Ferentz said, you know what? He's big enough and he's good enough for us. That was his ninth sack of the year, Mark. You can see how Minnesota has to stay out a long yardage passing situation. They just teed off. First down and 10. Fred Russell just dancing through the opposition. Being on that scout team as a young player, develops young players. It's one of the best things. You have to wait your turn, pay your dues, learn to be a football player on that scout team every day. They run the option into the boundary. Banks on his feet. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Brad Banks spilled the end zone. Iowa scores to up 21 seconds. First down and 10. A touchdown set up by a fumble by a side of dual colleague. That was Thomas to pay. Spread it around. <laughs> Second and nine. Pass complete. Minnesota won four on third down situations today. Dual colleague on the rollout. And a nice block from Tepay. And almost picked off by Bob Sanders. And right now we're back to Minnesota's biggest problem, punting the football. We're coming after it again a little bit. Hinkle calls for the fair catch at the 27-yard line. Jones in motion. They hand it out to Fred Russell. Out to the 27-yard line. Banks hands it off. Fred Russell with an education and acceleration. Fred Russell. Market motion. Banks going up top on the post. And he overthrows C.J. Jones, and he had him open. Banks knows it. Second down and ten. He hands it off this time to give Cervantes a ball. And you know what? The fullback's got to get his one tomorrow, Bob. Okay? You like to see that, don't you? Third down and four. Minnesota coming with a blitz. Banks completes it underneath to Ochoa. About bringing their offensive line coach from Harvard, Jamel Lewis, on the run. After the coaching change, second down and seven. Lewis hitting the edge and hitting it hard. Jamel Lewis. Another first down for the Hawkeyes at the 33 yard line. Iowa with 187 yards on the ground. First down and 10. Brad Banks at quarterback. He has come. Such a long way from junior college, and after transferring, he gave it to Lewis. Yeah, Dad was right, Holly, after all. Second down and eight. Banks 
Looks like a good quarterback. Touchdown, Hawkeyes to Moore Brown. Iowa with a 28-7 lead. Perfect in Big Ten Conference play coming in at 7-0. 2 right now with those kind of gaudy statistics. First down and 10. Asad Abdul-Khalid trying to bring his team back. Fires incomplete. Second down and 10. Thomas to pay. Pay with a nice move. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Third down and three. Asad Abdul-Khalid brought down at the 23-yard line by Fred Barr. Leaning into punt his fourth of the afternoon. I was been bringing some heat. It's off a high spider. Kinker back at the 38. You could have thrown eight from the conference. And here they are, first down and ten with the lead. Fred Russell cutting it back. Finding every small seam imaginable. Fred Russell. Down to the 39 and a first down for the Hawkeye. Fred Russell out of the ball game. Brad Banks going up top again, has a man. Clark incomplete. Keep an eye on Bradley Vance and Dallas Clark. In such situation, second and ten. Jamel Lewis off the left side and a nice tackle that time. Banks out of the shotgun. Incomplete to Clark. One of the few times you'll see him drop a pass like that. And Brad Banks took a hit after he passed it. Basically, no time left in the game for the touchdown pass to win the football game for Iowa. Yeah, or they wouldn't be here right now undefeated in the Big Ten. He's really put them in great positions on the season. They couldn't down it. Thomas to pay in a back. First down and 10 for Minnesota. Here's to pay out to the 25. But, Take his advice on offering him a scholarship. Right here. Pass the to the 83, Jared Ellerson. Big play, D, big play. Run. And 5 foot 8, 5 foot 7, Dale Bassmark seem to be invoked. I think the South Division of the Big 12, toughest division in college football. I agree with you on that. Pass complete. First down and 10. Jackson back to the ball game between the tackles. Down to the 47 yard line. I thought you were a lot more confident. Here's Abdul Khalif in the end zone, and it's incomplete. Pagel back there on the coverage, and he got rocked. Matt Roth with the late hit. Yeah, certainly does not lack for intensity. First and ten for the Gophers. Pass complete to Tony Patterson. What if Brad Banks would have stayed at receiver? What if Mo Brown would have come back from some off the field problems out like here? Bubble screen complete, really perfect so far. Minnesota on the move, though. Thomas to pay. Ready to go into Miami. It's 25 degrees outside. Pelic complete to Patterson. Just short of the end zone, inside the one yard line. They run the option. Touchdown, Minnesota. Abdul Pelic. Nice start with the extra point. Cut the Iowa lead to just 14. Split one down inside the 15. Jones. DJ Jones brought down at the 23 yard line. Currently acknowledging the season on the calendar, which is known as Ramadan, a season of fasting. Jamel Lewis on the carry for the hot guys, brought it down right to the line of scrimmage. So there's still life in the Gophers. I can have to play those start. on their own 20 yard line. Two tights and two wide outs. And it's to pay. Over the left side, out near first down at the 29 yard line. All right, Holly, second down and one. To pay stopped up, but fell forward to get the first down. Plus, made the initial hit. Minnesota with 12 pass completions, 54 yards, running after the catch. That's about five yards of catch. They need to break a couple big plays in the passing game to win this game. They run it again in a loose ball. It's on the carpet, and Iowa has it. Derek Pagel recovered the loose ball. The second turnover now for Minnesota, the ball game. The first one led to a touchdown by the Hawkeyes. Max hands it off to Russell. The zone play. And Fred Russell is in the zone. The first down at the 23-yard line. And the 24, Russell again. And Fred Russell stopped on a dime. He made Minnesota any change down to the 16-yard line. I'm still amazed, Mark, that they kept 
of Ben Russell in the backfield in that one back set. Here he is again on second and three. Russell and tripped I think over the 14-yard line. The turf monster <laughs> reared his ugly head in the Metrodome, Mark. First down and ten. Here's the waggle. Dallas Clark. Brought down at the 11 by Bradley Vansworth, the Metrodome in Minneapolis. Banks on the option. Mitigating circumstance, but Banks third down and three. Touchdown, Solomon. Can you imagine a senior starting his first year? That kind of ability is his first year as a starter at Iowa. If you're going to play man to man with no post help, the corner has to take away the short, easy inside throw. They learned the lesson the hard way that time. Caden stick down to the one. It's up to Nice job in there. Hey, he is stopped. You see the freshman out there. He did really like that Minnesota. Back to down at eight. Abdul Khalid completes the pass. To Aaron Hosack, and there's a flag down in the play at 6-6. Six, six. First down and 10. Into the boundary, it's up church. Gain of about nine, goes downstairs. Second down and one. Floyd's been in Iowa City for the last year. And it's a hold against the offense. Second down and one. They run the bubble screen, and it's incomplete. Minnesota hoping to get some offense going here. A dual point, they go up top. Hosack with the catch. And a close to run at the 17-yard line. In the NFL, a lot of teams coach that and successfully in the throw the football. Pass complete. Third down and one. To Payne. Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio State, Apple, Illinois a little later. Here's to Payne, tiptoeing. On a halfback pass. You're not going to see it here, the naked boot. Duke Bates sold a fake. A flag down. Rogers in motion. To Payne. That's out of the offset eye. They run the option. Touchdown, go for it. In for the extra point, it's good. Iowa has been prone to surrendering some leads in the past. This one comes down to Jones at the seven. He brought down at the 22. It's Fred Russell and this Iowa team, which has run for the ball very well today. Banks on the bootleg. He's brought down at the 22 yard line. Russell on the move. Russell with the first down. He's very good. You know, he's quick. Um, you know, he makes plays. Uh, I, I've been impressed by Iowa's consistency. If, if Ted, I think that if Iowa wins today, um, I think they're going to have some great opportunities, whether it's in a BCS Bowl or in another New Year's Day Bowl. First down and 10. Yeah, we have chronicled and documented the productivity. The stories of the Iowa Hawkeyes this year. It's been a great run for Iowa and a good run here. Jamel Lewis still on his feet. Lewis tight roping down the sidelines and he steps out of bounds. Three receivers on the formation. This is Dallas Clark in motion. Banks hands it off to Lewis. Jamel Lewis down to the 25 yard line. Got about four on the play. They are controlling the football game. 15 rushing first down. Jamel Lewis. Lewis. The Hawkeye fans have made the trip. Jansen now. We're number one. Lewis. Jamel Lewis. Working Minnesota like a part time job. Left offensive line play. Handed off to the fullback. First man, Bruce Atlantis. Second and goal. Ninth play of the Hawkeye drive. Back side of the line. It's ground in motion. And a nice defensive play. You have balance amongst your receivers. Very difficult to defend. A little motion.
motion up front. We Part of the snap. School next Ball year. start offense. Five yard penalty. Mark in motion. Little shuffle pass to Clark. And Clark fights his way out of the five. But you know what? That is a nice defensive stand by the Gopher defense. To get that to 11. It's a 21 yard. Good job by the holder to get that down. One for one now in the day. Nick Keaton. 29 yards. They play hard. They play tough. They have no field position in this football game. There's Terry Jackson on first and 10. Jackson near the 30. Cars coming into the ball game. Speaks to his durability. It's a long season for him. And Terry Jackson. Over the shootout with Joe Tillow. And his team will be able to compete in. And pass complete. Number 17. But the most important field position and turnover. A dual career. Going up top. And it's picked off by Javon Johnson. Hung up there a little bit long. And Johnson came down with it. They want to make a play on that football game. Making the second start. First and ten. After Mel Lewis. Uh, he's going to get in that way for him. He's going to get those, that Bob Sanders body before long, I promise you. Second and ten. Banks to pass. To Brown complete. Bo Brown tips toes out of bounds at the 20 step. First down and ten. Lewis on the zone play. Out of bounds at the 31. Jamal Lewis done a great job this year, but that's a different football team without Eric Dodger. Well, Savant is getting his third carry of the game. Making the trip from Iowa City. A five hour drive along I 35 and I 80. Third down and one. Banks keeps it himself. It's going to be close, depends on the spot here. Those Iowa fans were making a little noise at our hotel last night, too. They were ready, as was their football team for this game. Minnesota trying to stay tough here on defense, on a challenge. Jamel Lewis popped up behind the line of scrimmage by number 51. Miami is one of those teams that's so talented, Mark. They turn it on. They can turn it on. Second down and 18, Cervantes with his fourth carry. Brought down to the 35-yard line in Minnesota. Only one senior starter on that defensive team. The corner, Lehan, that's a young defensive team. But I think it's going to be pretty good down the road, Mark. Mark Mason's got some players in the forward. Third and 13, Banks. Incomplete, almost picked off. It was a football team, Mark. And they could play any team in the country and win. Minnesota coming up the middle and a great punt by Bradley. Back to the 13. And it's a fumble by Burns. The hot guy said they have it, and they do. There's another element of their football team, the best special teams football team in the country. The chemistry of your team, Mark, you can tell is at an all-time high when your seniors are playing the best football and the biggest effort players on your team are your seniors. First down and 10 for the Hawkeyes. They look for the option. Wide open is Brad Banks. And Jamel Lewis couldn't get it to him. Oh, they don't. They signal Minnesota there for pass interference. Mark, let's see if that ball was catchable. First down and goal for the Hawkeyes. Lewis. Illinois hosting Ohio State on ABC. Second down and goal. On the option, Banks. To Lewis. Stops short. Wide open. Incomplete. He threw it behind Cervantes. Are you thinking bootleg right here with Banks? You got it. Run the reverse to Brown. 
and he stopped up short. The Gopher defense responding in a big way. Earlier this week in Washington, they wanted the ball real well defensively. Abdul Kareem. See what a difficult task, particularly for a freshman center. One on one, difficult assignment. He forces the football loose, and Jared Klaus, number 90, comes up once again. We have seen it each and every week. First to goal, Cervantes up top. Word of the end zone. Second goal. Banks kept it himself. Touchdown, Iowa. Brad Banks says, I'll hook this up one up myself. We're going to get a 15-yard penalty coming in here late, I believe, for some unsportsmanlike conduct. Some good stuff to talk about at those family barbecues and picnics this offseason. Taking his football team to 11, 11 wins. <laughs> We're here at the Mets at all in Minnesota. He can throw, he can lead. The seven yard line is his face. It's all about the pig now. Floyd of Rosedale, the trophy they're playing for. Side of Dual Police stopped up by Klaus at the 15 yard line. Second and 11. Uh, it's been a real pig out today for the Iowa offense. Getting fat on points. Tough part of the schedule for the Golden Gophers. In fairness to them. Last week, Michigan. Before that, Ohio State. And they finish up with two tough rivalry games. Iowa today, the pass incomplete. And then next week, at Wisconsin. Two upset picks today, Mark. Dual complete, complete out to the 33 yard line. They are still coming out of this, though, a 7 and 4 football team. A lot of people around the country would be happy with that. Was tragically shot and killed earlier this season after a win on a Saturday night. Minnesota chartered an airplane, took their entire football team over to the funeral. And an interception, number 20. Antoine Allen coming up with the pick intended for Aaron Hosa. Floyd of Rosedale, a rivalry and a trophy they played for since 1935, and so far it looks like it's going to be Iowa. Moving 45 21. Alan Jones along with Bob Davy, Holly Road out of the field. This is Jamel Lewis jumping over defenders out to the 24 yard line. You're wondering how the teams would match up and how it would all play out. Well, uh, we're going to help you out on that, just like Jamel Lewis is doing here for the Iowa offense. We're looking at game up for us. And this is uh, Marcus Schnorr on the carry. Three of these offensive linemen came in as tight ends. Can you imagine, Mark, the hours in that weight room of going from 230, 240 pounds to 300 pounds over the course of the day? Unbelievable development. Gallery, Steinbeck, Nelson, Lightfoot. David Porter. Following the play, dead ball, personal foul, Iowa. After the 15-yard penalty, chains will be set, first and 10. But it made the tip along I-80 and I-35. Ochoa getting his second kill. Doing his Fred Russell impersonation. With that Marcus Schnorr. You can see what a huge advantage it is for this Iowa football team going to a January 1st ball game. Yeah, can get some great work done in the meantime and in between time. And Kirk Ferris has done a good job of keeping his troops on a very short leash this year. That's one you realize what you have at stake because you might fall. So just keep your eyes straight ahead. <laughs> Thank you very much. They're down in 13. Maybe uh, share some of this cake with the uh, Hawkeyes down in the field. Mark, this is a great scene. Iowa coming in here, celebrating on the road. 
a great season for Kirk Ferentz and enjoy every, every second of it. In just four years, that man has orchestrated perhaps the biggest turnaround of all of the teams in D1 college football. Kirk Ferentz with an Iowa school record 11th win. We'll hear from him shortly, Holly Rowe. We've been there with you since the beginning, the close win at Penn State in overtime. Your team has grown and matured as the season progressed, and they're still playing their best ball. They, they really are. We you know we're a little sloppy at times today, but I'm, I'm not complaining. I'll guarantee you. Our guys have grown with each every week, like you said. I could be proud. Everybody has invested so much. Uh, yeah, just a great experience for all these young guys. It started up front with the offensive line. Four long years it took you to build this. You've lost a lot of games in the process, but what can you say about those seniors on the line? Well, I'll tell you what, 0-8 wasn't a lot of fun uh, you know, a few years back, but to go from 0-8 to 8-0, just so, so uh, special. It's great for all of our seniors, our linemen, all of our seniors, and all the seniors that came before them, too. Those guys invested a lot also, had a big part in this. A jubilant scene down to the field for the Iowa Hawkeyes and a time to really revel in the success of the whole program. Kirk Ferentz orchestrated it all. He's one of their own. He learned at the feet of Hayden Fry and came back and took the job four years ago. First season, they went one and ten. There were doubters. Sitting at 11 and one overall, eight and zero, undefeated in the Big Ten this season. And now they wait to see what happens, what transpires with Ohio State later today on ABC at 3.30 Eastern time as they play Illinois. I think one of the real compliments for you, your teammates say you are exactly the same on the first call of the game as you are throwing a game-winning touchdown. Your demeanor in the huddle, your demeanor with your team has really marked this season. How do you explain that? Well, I guess that's the way I've just been brought up. Uh, so I just carry it over the field. That's it. I know this is distracting. They're yelling Heisman, but give us your pitch. Why do you deserve the Heisman? And don't be modest. I guess how the fans love me. <laughs> the fan favorite. And be remiss without talking here to Colin Cole, the leader up front on this defense. Colin, this defense has done it all year. So many sacks, so much disruption. What do you say about your teammates? I think, I think that everybody out here is giving 100%. Yeah, the Hawkeye defense has been on the radio all season. And we, we finally made a statement, not, not just this game, but the game's past, but this game is special. All right, thanks very much, Colin. Congratulations. Thanks.